Christina. And first, I say thank you to Baja Bonita. I've got my first subscriber. Thanks for believing in the project. And I hope you and all the others are going to like the first book tip that I have. It is not the first that influenced me in the sequence of those 15 and more books that I've been reading recently, but it is the most influential because it opened up my mind, it made me understand how people and interaction works, and the title of the book is Games People Play by Eric Byrne, published in 1964 and recommended me by my mentor by then. So I was stuck in my relationship, um, there were a lot of communication problems, repetitive problems, and I had no explanation for them. I was just sitting there wondering, but why? Why don't things work out? I mean. I'm telling him this and that, but still there are no results. So I've tried a lot of different things before. And after reading Eric's Bur Eric Burns' um, Games People Play, I was actually getting into transactional analysis, okay? That's the big word of what's going on in the book, transactional analysis. So how do people interact with each other? Eric Byrne, he um, narrowed it down to three levels, okay? The parent level, which is the upper level, and then you have the adult level, and you have the child level. And um, all, when two people interact with each other, they always switch between those levels. So the parent level has also two sides, right? So you can be a nurturing parent, you can be supportive, understanding, or you can be also a demanding or commanding parent, or you know, um, making people feel bad about something. So what happens very often when someone is a parent is that the other communicator gets into the child level at one point, okay? So you can be um, a child that reacts positively and listens and can also be like negative because you might become obedient, right? So um, towards um, a parent with a more forceful influence. So, but you can also be the rebellious child, you know, so um, like saying, no, but I don't want that, and you know how children react. So ideally two people, when they communicate, they manage to have a balance. So either they're on the adult level, that would be like wonderful, that would be a great state of development, but that's mostly not happening. So most of the times we're switching levels and we're switching them even throughout an, uh, an interaction. Why is this important to know and how can it change your life? So once you know that you're capable of analyzing uh, an interaction happening with another human, you're finally capable of seeing what's going on and retrieving yourself, okay? so. Very often, uh, people subconsciously take those positions and gain something out of it. Um, there are examples like, um, you know those people who are like, oh, you know, um, I would like to change things, you know, um, I'd like to have a better job. And then the other person goes like, yeah, but then uh, why don't you go and register on LinkedIn? Um, yeah, I could do that, but uh, my, I don't know, my, my CV isn't that good, or, mm, okay, maybe you should then do a course <laughs> on Coursera or something. Uh, yes, but I have no time. So um, that's one of the uh, examples of games that occur between people um, Eric Byrne describes in the book. So there are a lot more and it's uh, a little bit complex but not too complex to understand and it helps you to analyze and see what's really going on and where to invest your energy and where to just uh, be neutral and get back into the adult level so that you're not part of the game anymore and that's a very useful tool because you get perspective, you get a view into things. And this is not only valuable knowledge for relationships, uh, for like relationships between two uh, sexually active partners, this is for all kind of uh, relationships like uh, family, friends, um, workplace, all right? So I recommend Eric Byrne's Games People Play, a very old book but not out of date, not at all. 
and tell me what you think. Um, also available as an audiobook, I think, on audiobook.com, but check that on Google again. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, then see you another time. Bye.